Good afternoon. We're here on Milton Road and we're here to see a flat at number 15 Anscombe House in Great Heathmead, which is actually that first floor flat in the middle of your screen. Uh, just so you know where we are, Great Heathmead is certainly one of the best uh, developments in the town. Uh, we're right literally around the corner from the railway station. In fact, if you look across the road, literally as the, as the crow flies, the railway station is about 80 yards over there. So on foot, it's about 200 yards away. Um, but it's a lovely gated complex. Uh, there are six blocks plus some muse flats and all the residents here collectively own the freehold of the development. Uh, so they're in charge of the management. Uh, the block has actually been um, managed by the same managing agent since it was built in the late 1980s. However, the residents association, who are very powerful, actually did pull rank and they actually decided to change agents uh, literally last year. So it's now ran, it's managed by uh, Graves, Sun and Pilcher. But the flat you're going to see is actually on the first floor, although it's uh, second floor as the building goes, but it's first floor on entry level. Um, and the other benefit is the flat also has a garage which has an electronic up and over door and power and lighting in the, in the block just uh, beyond that building in front of you. So uh, come in. So the block itself is entered via a secure entry system. Uh, so everyone has a, uh, a key fob to get in the building. And then the entrance hallways obviously lead to all the floors. All smells of fresh paint. It's, it's always been a very well managed complex, Great Heathmead. I think mainly because there is such a good residence association. But every four years or five years, each building is either redecorated internally or externally or both. And the service charges reflect that. The service charge is just over £1,500 a year. Your ground rent, even though you are a share of the freeholder, the ground rent is £200 a year, which goes into a separate fund. And the leases, would you believe, were 150 years from 1987. So they've got a long, long time to go just yet. But anyway, come in. Here's number 15. So it's a two-bedroom, east and south facing apartment um, the flats these are about 30 years old and this flat is fairly original so it does want some updating so first things first nice big entrance hall great big cupboard there with shelves and the consumer unit and we'll go around in order across the hall you've got this main bedroom and this one's got a lot of fitted wardrobes i've seen a lot of people make various alterations to these flats Obviously, we're looking back across the road. So I started my video just over there in the middle of your screen now by that bollard. And some people have done all sorts of things like move these walls around. So you can actually move walls about in here, subject to the landlord's consent to make the rooms better. Whereas if you just look at that recess there with that chest of drawers, when I go into the small bedroom, the other side of that, you'll see what I mean. Because if you pinch that little recess alone back, it makes this second bedroom a little bit better, which is here. Again, this has very much been used as a dressing room, but it was a, it is a small double bedroom or a very, very generous single. So obviously that recess is eating into your main bedroom next door. But if you took that bit there into this room, it'll make this room far more user friendly. So a good size second bedroom. Again, overlooking the front. And then the bathroom, this is the, probably one of the best improvements I think you can make in these flats. So you've got great big bathrooms with this huge bath. Obviously this is a Pampas coloured suite. Don't get confused, it's not avocado, you wish. Um, but what a lot of people have done in here is this great big airing cupboard. If you replace the boiler and put a uh, combination boiler in, you can lose this cold water tank and the hot water tank. And what I've seen people do is make that entire cupboard into a great big shower which makes it far more user friendly in my opinion so if you're going to refit this bathroom you're in for a penny you're in for a pound you can do all of that and then a, at the end the nice big double aspect living room so again as mentioned we're east at the front south at the side so a nice bright cheerful room and it's got the balcony so you have got some outside space Looking back, so again, I started just down there. The railway station is literally just around the corner. You've got Sainsbury's and the Waitrose supermarkets there. Literally behind the development, we've actually got uh, the Dolphin Leisure Centre. Although there is a fitness suite on the complex. Many years ago, when this built, the development was first built by Fairbriar Homes, there was actually uh, little gymnasiums in each build, uh, in three of the six buildings, which was only a big workbench and so on with a sauna. But they've closed those all down because they're just not adequate these days by modern standards. But the fitness suite, I believe, has been closed during the COVID period. 
Um, that's just got lots of cardiovascular uh, equipment in it. And there's the kitchen. So it's the original kitchen, decent size. Again, I've even seen someone has taken that wall out to make the kitchen and living area one very big open plan space. But as you can see, kitchen's there, does have a window. But as you can see, the whole place needs updating, which is reflected in the price. It does have a garage, so bear that in mind, because Great Heath Mead, the prices do vary. It does vary depending on whether or not you've got a garage or just a parking space. And if you're buying this as a first time buyer, well, it's a very safe long term bet because you have got reasonable service charges. You do own the freehold collectively with the other 150 or 149 properties. And if you're buying it as a buy to let investment, then this flat, even as it is today, would probably still rent out for 950 to 1,000 pounds a month, even in its current condition, but refurbished would tend to get a much better return than that. But there you go, that's number 15 Anscombe House. It's for sale with immediate vacant possession. So anyone wanting to move quickly, this could be for you. If you are interested and would like to come and have a look, please contact our Hayward Heath office. Thank you.